Hi everyone, this is Grade 4 Math, Chapter 11, Lesson 5. Subtract fractions like denominators. Before we get to our lesson, let's review some math words. The first one is fraction. Fraction is a math term that shows part of a whole number or a group, like this one, 3 over 4. 4 is the bottom number, and it's called denominator, and it represents how many equal parts is the, is the whole divided into. 3 is the top number, and it's called numerator, and it tells us how many of these equal parts do we have. The next one is like denominator, and this is what we call two fractions when they have the same denominator like 1 over 4 and 3 over 4 they have both they both have 4 in the bottom number so they are like denominators now our lesson today is about subtracting fractions with like denominators now let's see our first example here we have 1 2 3 4 5 5 over 6 and i want to subtract 1 2 2 over 6 from it so let's cross it let's stick it away okay and this is what we have left so to subtract fractions without the help of the models we need to follow three simple steps the first one is to subtract the numerators where's the numerator yeah you're right 5 and 2 so 5 minus 2 equal 3 Step 2 is keep the same denominator. We do not subtract the denominators. We just keep it. So the common denominator here is 6. So we just put 6 in the denominator. Step 3 is simplify if necessary. Okay. And to do so, we need to find the largest number that I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by. 3 and 6 both can be divided by 3. So, 3 divide 3 equal 1. 6 divide 3 equal 2. So, I have 2, 1 over 2. Let's see our next example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 over 7 minus 1 over 7. So let's cross it, let's shade it, okay? And this is what we have left, okay? In the beginning, we had 4 over 7 minus 1 over 7. Our first step is, yes, you are correct. Subtract the numerator. Where is the numerator? 4 minus 1 equal 3. Step 2 is to keep the same denominator. The common denominator here is 7, so we just slide, slide it across. So our, question, our answer is 3 over 7. Step 3 is simplify if necessary. 3 over 7 is already in its lowest term, so we don't need to, sub, to simplify. Our next question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 over 15, and I want to subtract 1, 2, 2 over 15. Okay, let's follow our steps. Let's cross it. Okay, and this is what we have left. Okay, step 1 is to subtract the numerator. 7 minus 2 equal 5. Okay, step 2 is keep the same denominator. Remember, we don't subtract the denominator. So, we just put it there. 15. Step 3 is simplify if necessary. 5 and 15, they both can be divided by 5. You are correct. So, 5 divide 5 equal 1. 15 divide 5 equal, yes, you are correct, 3. So, 5, uh, 15, five over 15 simplifies to 1 over 3. Now let's move on to our book. Please open your box page 232 and let's solve the first question together. Okay. Complete the sentence to find the difference. 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5. The like denominator is... Where is the like denominator, guys? Yeah, it's 5. So we just write 5. 
The difference of the numerator is 4 minus 1 equal 3. So 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5 equal 4 minus 1 equal 3 and 5. So 3 over 5. Our next question is subtract. Remember guys, we don't subtract the denominators. We only subtract the numerators. Number 7, 4 over 10 minus 2 over 10. Now let's remember our steps together. Step 1 is to subtract the numerator. 4 minus 2 equal 2. Step 2, keep the same denominator. So it will be 10. It will be 2 over 10. Step 3, simplify if necessary. 2 over 10 can be simplified. Yeah, they both can be divided by 2. 2 divided 2 equal 1. 10 divided 2 equal 5. Question number 9. 6 over 6 minus 2 over 6. 6 minus 2 equal 4. And we keep the same denominator. 4 over 6. 4 over 6 can be simplified? Yeah, they both can be divided by 2. 4 divided 2 equal 2. 6 divided 2 equal 3. 9 over 12 minus 8 over 12. 9 minus 8 equal 1. It will, and the denominator will be 12. Okay, 1 over 12 can be simplified? No, it's already in its lowest term. So it, the answer will be 1 over 12. 2 minus 1 equal 1. And we keep the same denominator. 1 over 4. Now let's... Our next question is find the missing number. 5 over 6 minus 2 over 6 equal 3 over what? We agreed that we don't subtract the denominator. We just keep it as it is. So it will be 3 over 6. Number 20. 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 5. We work from left to right. 4 minus 1 equal 3. 3 minus 1 equal 2. So it will be 2 over 5. 7 over 8 minus what over 8 minus 2 over 8 equal 4 over 8. Remember guys when we had this question. 7 minus what equal 5. We just subtract 5 from 7. 7 minus 5 equal 2. So we will just solve. We will solve this question just like that. 7 minus 2 equal 5. 5 minus 4 equal 2. 1 so the answer will be 1 so let's check our answer 7 minus 1 equal 6 6 minus 2 equal 4 so my answer is correct the next question is 7 over 10 minus what over 10 equal 6 over 10 7 minus 6 equal 1 so the answer will be 1 now our problem solving number 25 the question says, Tara has 85 over 100 yards of fabric. She uses some of the fabric to make scarf and has 3 over 30 over 100 yards of fabric left. How much fabric does Tara use to make the scarf? Explain how you found your answer. Okay, let's see what Tara started with. 85 over 100 yard of fabric. So she had 85 over 100 yard of fabric. She uses some fabric, but I don't know how much she, she used. Okay, so minus what equal 30 over 100 because he tells us that she has 30 over 100 fabric left. Okay. So we will subtract 85 minus 30. 5 minus 0 equal 5. 8 minus 3 equal 5. So 85 minus 30 equal 55. And we keep the same denominator. Okay, so the answer will be 55 over 100. Our next question, number 26. Mr. Rios needs to cut the grass on a large lawn. He cuts 4 over 12 of the lawn and takes a prick. He then cuts 6 over 12 of the lawn and takes another prick. How much of the lawn does Mr. Rios have left to cut? Explain how you found your answer. Now let's see 
what Mr. What did Mr. Ryu started with? He started with a whole loan that needs to be cut, right? So he started with one hole. So I can write this one hole as 12 over 12, right? Did I do anything? No. 12 over 12, it means 12 divided 12 equal 1. So I didn't change anything, okay? So then, then he cuts 4 over 12. So minus 4 over 12. Then he gets a, takes a break and cuts 6 over 12. So minus again 6 over 12 equal 12 minus 4 equal 8. 8 minus 6 equal 2. So it will be 2 over 12. 2 over 12 can be simplified. Yeah, they both can be divided by 2. So 2 divided 2 equal 1. 12 divided 2 equal 6. So Mr. Rios has 1 over 6 of the loan left to cut. Okay, this is our lesson today. Hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you guys.